Hello, Christian Livingstone here. And today is Thursday. It's the third Thursday of the month, which means it's the third Thursday event that uh, occurs in this area downtown, which is a few miles away. And uh, last season, I started to participate in that by going down there and uh, taking my little video camera and interviewing people and interacting. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Today is uh, it's the third Thursday in the month of uh, June, and I believe this is going to be the busiest one. It's going to emphasize uh, artistic endeavors and uh, music, which, you know, usually those are out there every time anyway. But there's other emphasis uh, going on uh, in the, those events. Sometimes there's bike hikes and stuff. But uh, I go down there on the electric hand cycle, which, you know, I've been use it for about a year now after completely finishing it and uh, even the seat uh, cover is new. Uh, Mary Stewart of Jesus is going to be down there on third Thursday with her loom kind of demonstrating and selling her uh, yarn goods and rugs and things and but she sold this up. I got the kind of fabric I wanted and uh, so you know I'm kind of happy that this is all done now and it's a little spacey but so, anyway, I'm heading down there. I've got some uh, voluntarist pamphlets, and uh, they're anti-status without being too aggressive, and it kind of introduces the, the topics. Not quite Christian anarchism, but pretty close. And uh, there's uh, my YouTube channel uh, address is on here, too, so they can find out more about where the bike comes from, where Christian anarchy is coming from, and... Uh, stuff I do like the melon patch and other things so that's what I'm doing I'm heading out there and I see a friend or two maybe out there and this is how I do it I just uh, get on the old electric hand cycle and roll on out of here it's that easy I'll see you out there Christian Livingstone here. I've encountered a, a gentleman with a, a stand here on Third Thursday, and it appears to be a, a jewelry and a glass making. And I saw this what looked like a lost wax casting kiln, and I started uh, asking him about it, and uh, he said he uses it for all kinds of things. Uh, isn't that right? Yeah, I could. Uh, it's mainly used for annealing the glass, which you know, as the glass is hot, when I'm done working it in the flame. I rest it in the kiln, and the kiln is on a four-hour process. It starts off at a high temperature, and the temperature gradually drops within four hours. And is what that does is, say I'm working on a marble, the majority of the heat will be in the center. And so if it rapidly cools too fast, it'll break. It'll just shatter from within. And so... You've had that happen, it's huh? It's happened lots of times. <laughs> So when you gradually cool it, it allows it all to become at the same temperature, and then it's good to go. And the great thing about these is once it's annealed, I mean... So I, I annealing hardens it? Yes, it's kind of like, a, you know, same process as with steel. Sure. You know, tempering, it's the same process. Well, thank you. And your name is? My name is Adam Pena. I, uh, my company's called Ardente Glassworks. We're on Facebook. Uh, working on a website. Should be up sometime soon. And you uh, live here in the Hutchinson area? Do you Gordon have a Reds. storefront uh, somewhere? Not yet. We're uh, working on that. Working on getting the financing ready. So. Or maybe just a web presence. Who needs the added uh, brick and mortar? That's very true. I mean, you know, the way everything's gone to technology, Facebook, Etsy, you know. And that way you don't have to charge sales tax to people out of state. Exactly. I, why yeah. give them money for yeah. nothing? Exactly. And this is your daughter here who helps you? Yes, this oh, is. Oh, that's sweet. Her name okay. is Beat Up. I actually just silver coin, flatten it down a little bit, snip a little piece off, and then I get a piece of hot glass. I pick that silver up, put the silver into flame, and it shoots off the silver into the glass. And so once I get on the glass, it started off as a marble, and then I flatten it, and the silver is still in there. So you get metal in the glass, yeah. huh? Yeah. What do you know? And you can do it with silver, you can do it with gold, you can do it with platinum, but that's a little expensive. Sure, and it just looks like silver, probably. What do you know? Huh. But yeah, you can get all kinds of different effects with the silver, depending on how thick you lay it on. It can look like that, it can look gold. 
You can get purples, oranges, whites, blues, different colors out of it, depending on how much you use of it. Groovy, groovy. Yeah, real cosmic uh, type designs. Uh, kind of hippie people kind of like this oh, yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, huh? you know. Sure. And that's the same thing, you know. Well, thank you. Okay, what's your question? How does that thing go? You don't have no pedals. That's right. I have hand cranks and it's electric power, so I can do either one. I can exercise up top or I can just lay on the juice and uh, it'll take me to about 25 miles an hour. Dang. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Well, here's Eric and Alex again. I found them here last uh, season. They were rocking and rolling. Look, it's a juggling girl. A one-handed juggling. Three balls, two hands. As she turns around. Whee! That's pretty good. The outfit's kind of fun too. Hey look, the other one talks too. Can you talk and juggle? <laughs> Not so much. I know. I can talk, but I can't juggle, you know. There's a gal. Uh, that's a nice voice. Nice tempo. Every night when I close my eyes, all I can see are 2,000 pictures of you and me. Remember how I made you laugh and you made my heart sing. <laughs> These are a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. It does evoke a little bit of ooh. Watch out for this guy. cycle got me right back here and uh, that was another third Thursday and uh, you know some of the same faces and musicians and vendors were out there but uh, it's always pleasant uh, on the third Thursdays okay so that wraps it up
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.